the boyfriend of my sister has this stone plate and asked me if I could make it into a small table and in this video I'm going to show you how I do this I designed the table in SketchUp and it has a round concave post I want to turn it on the lathe but it's a little bit too long for my lathe so I do it in two pieces the low piece then has a integral dowel on it and the upper piece the right sized hole and the foot of this table is made from a platform and the three feet join them with some box joints. This is the wood I want to use. These three pieces of maple are going to be the feet. This, I think it's teak, will be the little platform with the template. This sandwich of birch, oak, oak and birch will be the post. This circle here represents the biggest diameter of the post and it just barely fits on here so I can tell that this sandwich is big enough and I also made this template that will help me turn the right profile on the light. First I glue up the sandwich for the post I let the glue set for about 10 minutes and now I add the next layer. And another 10 minutes later I glued the last piece. While I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I resaw this piece to the right thickness. After smoothing it with the drum sander, I glued on the template and punch the center for the big hole. Then it was just a matter of cutting it out on the bandsaw and bring it to the line on the disc sander. Then I cut the three feet out of my little straps to size. need a special shape and I cut it out as a template and with this shape it fits properly into the base plate and now I just glue this template on here I made a little guide and spaced it from the disc and it helps me to make the angles perfect. Now all three legs have the same shape and the right angles. Now I have to cut the finger joints. The test joint works perfect, but I have to cut these fingers at an angle right along this line. So I have to position these pieces at this angle in the jig. Now to cut 
the fingers at an angle I used again this wedge I used at the disc sander to bring the pieces to the right angle and now I just have to clamp them very securely to this wall here And they fit really nicely. On the bottom it would will look like this, but because it's on the bottom it's not too bad. For the subtable I want to use birch plywood. And I found a scrap in my shop that's round and has a hole in the center. So it's perfect for this job. Now I make the template for the post out of a scrap piece of OSB. The sandwich for the post is now glued up and dry. Now I have to turn it. Well, the easy way to turn it would be to just take this thing and put it in the lathe. But my lathe is not big enough for this job. So I want to do it in two pieces. One piece then is 28 centimeters long and the other piece is 40 centimeters long. The saw blade I normally use was just a little bit too small, so I put on the bigger blade for the second cut. Now at the lathe I put the first piece between centers. And now at first I'm going to turn a tenon on this end to hold it with the chuck. And then I can turn it around and drill the hole I need to connect my two pieces. I flipped the piece around and mounted it in the chuck, put the lathe speed to its slowest speed and now I can drill out the hole. Because the wood I'm drilling in is oak and grain it was quite hard to drill and the drills got very hot so then I switched to a smaller drill bit to remove some of the material and then finish the cut with the right size drill bit now the hole is drilled and I flipped it around again and chucked it in the hole so now I can turn it round in relation to the hole. And then it was just a matter of turning it round and to the shape that I was looking for. It was quite fun. I used different tools but then I stayed with my spindle gouge and some sanding. The bigger piece was a lot easier to turn because I could just turn it between centers and made the two tenons and then brought it to the right shape. Now the lathe work is done and the parts came out really nice. They fit together just perfect, no gaps whatsoever. And the profile matches the template pretty well. The top and bottom tenon fit perfectly. And now before I put all together, 
I want to taper the legs a little bit. Then I glued it together piece by piece. I did just some fine tuning to these corners by hand. I finished it with several coats of outdoor hardwood oil. The tabletop wasn't glued on by me, so I unfortunately don't have video material of that process. But anyways, here is the finished table.